Well, as you can see, I'm in Liverpool City Centre today, and it is three o'clock, and the games are just getting underway, as we view St George's Hall and Lime Street and the World Museum. And I'll just say now that today's commentary is Aston Villa versus Everton, and it's being provided by BBC Radio Merseyside. Well, Sir John's beacon proudly looks over Liverpool, and if you're an Everton fan, you'll be even more pleased because they've just taken the lead at Aston Villa after just three minutes. Wonderful goal from Fellaini. Again, after his goal to beat United on Monday. Oh! Nearly 2 no Everton already. Wow, Villa, they lost last week and they're losing already and Everton the opposite. And Manchester United are losing at home. It's at Old Trafford, it's United nil Fulham 1. Incredible shock. I'm not lying either. It's only five past three and we've already had two amazing starts. By the way, it was Pinar and not Fellaini that got Everton's. Well, now that I've had the opportunity to get my breath back, I'll just tell you that today we're going to just sort of walk around the northern edge of the city centre and then loop back in towards the Moorfields area and then I'll get the train home at half time. What a start. Busy old city centre, this. A lot of roads and flyovers and buses and everything else. Just 10 minutes gone so far, still early days. It's another warm, humid day in late August. Quarter of an hour gone and United have just equalised, so it didn't last very long for Fulham. Yeah, just going over another bridge here. And that building you can see opposite there is uh, one of the buildings for Liverpool John Moores University, one of their campuses. Cracking view here. By the way, it's Norwich 1, Queen's Park Rangers 0. With just under 20 minutes on the clock. Beautiful sight that. There should have been six Premier League games today, but there's only five. Sunderland versus Reading has just been called off because of a waterlogged pitch in August. Incredible stuff. We'll just cross the busy road. And uh, we're now on a quiet path. We're just coming up to the halfway mark of the first half and bizarrely there's been a power cut at Villa Park, so we lost a couple of minutes of radio commentary there, but it's back now. Well, there's a Sayat garage on the left, but I'm not Sayated, seated. I'm stood up. Better football though. Um, there's been another goal and it's QPR that have equalised at Norwich. 1-1 there. Yep, a Toys R Us and a Costco Superstore over there. So after half an hour, there have been five goals in five Premier League games and there will certainly be more. I don't know which one, but one of them is the tallest building in Liverpool, apparently, in the business district. Well, I'm just in a random industrial state, and of course you can see, oh my God, not kidding, just as I'm filming, Everson have gone two up, and this time it is flyny. It's a header, but only because of a goalkeeping or defensive foul, I'm not sure which. Well, from this angle, we can really, really feel and see how tall this monster is. It's got nothing to do with football, but it's still interesting. There it is. And the time is 25 to 4. And I'm just going to make my way up these steps. And, um, yeah. Everything's surely on course for a win now. Two up at Villa Park after just half an hour. There's another attack for Everton. It's come to nothing. Oh wait, has it? Nah, it's finished. But um, yeah, still 2-0 Everton. Six goals so far today in the Premier League. Not including the lunchtime kickoff. Well, it's quarter to four and we're just coming to half time. And Everton have got a third. I think it's late in Bain, so it's 3-0 Everton. And I'm just getting my train now from James Street. There's the big duck, famous tourist bus. So long for now. Things out, uh, Eric Lehigh is going to come on. Well, as you can see, I'm just driving home. We are down to 10 men. And um, um, man to come off will be it just got turn, worse for Villa. Yeah, Kieran uh, Clark's got a straight red card, goal score opportunity he, foul. He never moved him, so Everton got a free kick just outside the box, didn't come to anything, but not only three goals down, and now a man down. And there's been a goal.
where you've joined me today on a fine Sunday afternoon in August. The sun is shining and it's a perfect day for Premier League football. I've just stopped at the services, but I'm on my way to the M56 motorway now. I'll tell you more later. Just passing the petrol station. Well, beautiful view of Hellsby Hill in the background and the service station just leaving in the foreground. Incidentally, the M56 motorway is just behind all that. And I'm off to some woodland near Manchester Airport for a beautiful country walk. And we might even see some planes as well. That will be accompanied by the commentary of the Stoke Arsenal game. And then I'm going to get home and watch the Liverpool game on TV. So uh, I'll see you when I get there. Well, I've just parked up on a country lane near the airport and then now begin the country walk. It is quarter past one and kickoff is in 15 minutes for Stoke Arsenal. Yeah, you can hear a few planes in the background there, yeah. Well, the game is just five minutes from kickoff now. A full sellout of the Britannia Stadium, ready for a very good game. And it's turned out to be a really beautiful day here as well. It's just so beautiful. Back to football matters, there's no goals yet, five minutes have gone. Great atmosphere though, and the Stoke fans are full of praise and full of noise. Well, a few minutes ago, Stoke had the ball in the net, but it was chalked offside. And Arsenal just had the first corner of the game. Probably Stoke have just about started the best, but it's a very good competitive game in these early minutes. Well, we seem to have hit a dead end. Oh well. Well, I've just moved to the back of the mill to show you an even better view of one of the finest examples of our industrial past. Back to the football. Arsenal very much taking charge of this game and they've had over 76% possession, I've just heard. But it remains nil-nil after just under half an hour. Well, we're past the half an hour mark now and Arsenal in their away purple kits are still nil-nil at the Britannia Stadium as I show you even more beautiful woodland and gardens. Well Stoke have just had their best chance of the game a shot on target from new signing Michael Kiteley and Manone the Arsenal keeper who's in for Chesney I don't know why I think he must be injured he's missing his first Premier League game for a year and a half today made the save but the whole pattern of play has generally been characterised by Arsenal dominating possession going forward Stoke closing them down with all their players in the final third and trying to get them on the break it's an interesting contest well Arsenal have now come their closest with Kathora on target, another new signing, and Begovic tipped it behind. Well, as you can see, we're now at a beautiful meadow as I've moved away from the mill. And I'm now going to head towards the airport lookout. Well, we're just coming at half time in this match. Still nil nil, but it has been good to listen to. It's been a great contest. Half time whistle's just gone. Still 0 0 at the moment, but I'll see you at the airport lookout for the second half. Well, we've just taken time out to say hello to two of the natives of the Manchester airport area. Two cute little ponies. Well, I've made it to the viewing point and the footpath we're about to go onto runs one and a half miles or so along the south rim of the airport perimeter fence and there's a little plane just taking off there. I think it's uh, the Switzerland national carrier, so probably off to Zurich, somewhere like that. Better football matters though, the uh, second half will be underway shortly. Here comes one now.
We're now just heading back to the country lane where we parked our car. Early on into the second half. Still 0-0. Arsenal continue to be dominant but just can't score. Their strike is far into the moment. Well, we're past the hour mark now. And neither the team look anywhere near closer to scoring. I'm off now though. If I get the chance to beat you again, I will. For now. 